Ah, pre-war Europe. Isn't it lovely? Well, aside from the tensions that you could cut with a knife. Well, one of the many shipping lines on the world's oceans during this time was called the North German Lloyd Line. And in April of 1912, they decided to build a new ship to compete with the rising competition on the Atlantic. Her name was supposed to be Columbus. The Columbus's interiors were stunning, as she was filled with skylights and paintings of what was supposed to be her namesake. She even had a drawing room, and her smoking room was decorated in a stunning old Dutch style. Her first class dining room had a stunning gallery above it, and it was adorned with golden trimmings. There was even a children's playroom. Now, as for her construction process, it was relatively uneventful. Well, for the first part at least. She was launched in 1913, but wouldn't be completed for another nine years, as during her construction process, the European powers decided that declaring war on each other would be fun, meaning there was a shortage of labour and material to finish her construction process. And when the war ended, she was handed over to the British government as reparation, meaning when she was completed, she wouldn't have the same owners as the White Star Line, who had lost both the Britannic and the Titanic in the previous decade, had bought the Bismarck of Hamburg America Line, and the subject of today's video, the Columbus, to replace the two lost giants. And when construction finally resumed, the White Star Line sent down some Harland and Wolf employees to oversee the conclusion of the construction, during which she was renamed to Homeric, and she was finally finished in 1921, beginning the career of the home ship. The Homeric's career began on the 15th of February, when she departed Southampton on her maiden voyage. This would go on to be relatively uneventful, and she would prove to be quite successful. However, despite this, she was not very fuel efficient, leading to the White Star Line to convert her from a coal burning ship to an oil burning one, like many other ships during her time. Then, in 1924, the Homeric would be caught up in a storm. This storm would smash many of the Homeric's portholes and windows, and cause her to arrive in New York a day later than expected. But I hear it was all smooth sailing from there. <laughs> yeah, get it. Then, in 1925, the Homeric would attempt to come to the aid of a Japanese ship called the Rifuku Maru, but thanks to the Rohla, all they could do is watch her sink. In the mid-1920s, the US introduced new immigration laws to bring down the amount of immigrants entering the United States. This was a problem for the Homeric, as she was designed with immigrants in mind, meaning the Homeric would now require some changes to a class system as a new tourist class was added, which would come in use in the 1930s as the Great Depression hit, leading to a massive decrease in the ocean line of trade leading the White Star Line to assign her to cruising, as she would be cruising around the Mediterranean as she was given an outdoor swimming pool. She would have a collision in 1932, though soon her career would come to an end. In 1934, Cunard merged the White Star Line, which led to many great Ocean Liner legends being scrapped, and the home Eric wasn't safe as after appearing in King George V's Silver Jubilee Fleet Review, she was put up for sale and was almost bought by the North German Lloyd, but was instead ultimately put up for sale and sold for scrap, bringing an end to what was for many people a home at sea. Hello everybody, it is Alice Mist, back with another epilogue. Uh, I'd like to say that the Homeric video was originally going to be done all the way back in 2022. So it's nice to see that it's finally been finished. It's why if you uh, listen to the earlier part of the script, the writing style seems a bit older. And that's because the script, as I said, was like May back in. I mean, it, was, it was October of 2022. But other projects took priority and you get the idea. But it's nice to finally, as I said, see it out there and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully Normandy and Athlone Castle shouldn't be too far from being done. Uh, Athlone's been written and begun recording today, uh, well, as of recording this epilogue, and Normandy is about close to being finished with the editing now, which is great for me. Uh, as well as that, though, what will probably be coming out before um, Normandy, though, is my two-year anniversary special, uh, which will be Top 10 Ships 2024 edition to the surprise of nobody, but it will have a special intro to it at the beginning. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching everyone, and I shall hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye!